I got a new skateboard. Okay. So, I've had this cruise board right here for a while now. I believe I had it for over a year. Um, it's still holding up fantastic. I still love it. It still works. Um, but it's just, it's getting boring. I know, like, if, if you skated one shape board for a while, you know how it is. It's getting kind of boring. The grip is, like, almost non-existent right now. The tail, I'm getting a pretty bad razor tail right here. Um, the tail's also getting really chipped up. This board still works, and I will keep this forever because I love this cruise board. I love the shape. Um, it's good wood. Life wood, skateboards. Did a good job for this board, but like, I need I need something new. So, I went out and I treated myself to a new cruiser deck and some new wheels because I actually lost the pair of wheels I used to have on this. I used to have these like really good, like, let me show you guys. Alright. You guys see at the same time? I see it. I kind of forget what this looks like. I'll read with you. Uh, paper. Bam. Look at that board. Oof. I love this shape. Like, it's like tapered at the end, tapered at the front. So here, here it is. Oh my gosh. So this is the five burrows deck. Uh, I completely... Give me, give me one second. Let me find what the exact thing is of this deck. So this is the five burrow Cinco Barrows Cruiser Large 8.0 Skateboard deck. That's the name of what I got to on Tactics. I'll put a link to this one down in the description. Um, but I'm actually going to New York this summer. Um, and I felt like, you know, it's the five rows of New York. I felt like that fits the theme correctly. I really like the shape of this. Let me find another 8.5 skateboard so I can show you guys. So this is my 8.5 skateboard. It's a new, it's a new graphic other than my old one. It's a, um, it's a, uh, what is it? Alien Workshop? Alien Workshop deck. It's, I really like this. Um, my old Rosemont one got really chipped up because I practiced my kickflips on it. I landed a lot rocketed, so the tail was all messed up. So this is this shape of this cruiser. And then this is this board. So it's about the same length, but right there the nose is a lot like more tapered, I guess. And the tail is a lot more boxy and a little longer it looks like, or the same length actually. So the tail's boxier, nose is nosier. And that's that's that. I have some diamond grip tape. Um, I have had it applied for me because I really suck at applying grip tape and didn't want that kind of pressure on me. And now for one personally, my favorite part of this entire setup is these small wheels. Um, these are the coffee cruisers. They are eight, or not eight, they are 54 millimeters, and they're like perfect, okay? These are my favorite skateboarding wheels ever. They are 78 drop A durometers, so they are the softness of like these cruising wheels I have, but the size of these skateboard wheels, and I love them so much for cruising because of the right, I love the size of 54 millimeters, but like, because like it's 56, I think these were these. These are like these are good. I like these, but like they're big for me. I don't like how chunky they feel, and like but these are so nimble. I love small wheels so much. So I'll link these down in the description also. Um, I gotta set this up now. And then that's also gonna be a process. So what I want is I want this deck obviously. These bearings out of these wheels right here, because um, these bearings are like pretty. Ooh, I have a new teacher match. Look at that. So I so these bearings are about three days old honestly, and I just I really like they're not broken in yet, and they're honestly amazing, and I love them so much. They're bones. Rushes, I believe? Yeah. So I need to take these bearings out of here, and I want to use these trucks, these thunder trucks, because I honestly love them, and they feel amazing, and they're the right tightness. I just want to really want to use them. Also, I feel like they look good on this deck right here. It's going to be a process setting this up, so I got to take these off, and then those off, and put them all in there, put those walls on my own. I guess we should start doing something, right? Yeah. What would be easiest to do start first? We're going to take these trucks off first, I guess? I just realized I didn't have my mic on, like on the thing at all. All right, hopefully, hopefully audio is a little bit better. Everything's on, yep. All right, so hopefully audio is a little bit better. Uh, I can't believe I just forgot to put my mic on. Um, so let's set this up. I'm gonna start taking the trucks off the skateboard, put them on there, and start wheels. Yeah, that's the plan. And while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna talk about life because usually I'd go to like a artsy montage of the setup, but Today, let's do something different. That's really loud. Let me get let me get these off first. I look like garbage. Okay, so agenda. First off, I got a new lens. This is 18 millimeters right now. So this is my old lens right here. Is the 18 to 55 um, kit lens, I guess. But this new lens I have is a wide-angle lens, so it goes from 18 like this 
all the way up to 10 millimeters, which I'll use for the rest of this video. Uh, I just didn't use it for now until it's for this for this dramatic reveal. Um, so this is the classic like vlogging, I guess, lens. You got so much arm room. You guys see my entire messy room. You see my laundry right there. You see this open closet. You see how messy my room is. So this is a new lens I'm gonna use from now on uh, for most of my like vlogging. As I said, at the beginning of this video, uh, when I was unveiling the board, I am going to New York City in July. Um, I meet my friend Ron out there. Ron Per. I'm not gonna try to pronounce his Instagram. I'll put it right here. Uh, go check him out. He's an amazing videographer. I love him so much. But I'm staying with him out there, and it should be super fun. What have we talked about so far? New lens, New York. I guess that's about it. All like the important stuff. I guess I'm home. I'm not in art school anymore. I guess I still am in art school myself for the summer. I guess that, that, that could be a topic I could talk about. So art school. Um, yeah. First year of art school is done. Um, it's really strange because if I was, if I stayed at Bowling Green, I would have been graduating, I believe, next year. And now I'm only going to my second year of school. In August I'm going back and I cannot be more excited. I'm taking more photography based classes because that's my major. I believe I'm taking a darkroom class so I can actually start my film career. Because I have, I have this whole good camera right here. This like, uh, cheap, like shitty plastic film camera. Um, I just need to get the film developed. I How do YouTubers do like setup videos? Like it is so hard to do a setup video right now because you gotta like figure out where everything goes. My phone's popping off. I am I am dying right now. Trucks are a thing. There we go. So yeah, um, nothing really interesting has gone on in my life so far. Just art school is done, and I first year super fun. Things I've learned. I should talk about that real quick. Things I've learned in art school. So prior to going to Art Academy, I had no previous like art, like professional, that's not the right screw. I had no like professional art uh, background. I was largely self-taught. And then going to Art Academy was a pretty big like change for me. Going from Bowling Green to Art Academy from a school of about like, what? One, mm, 1,700 students, roughly to like 200 students. A big change for me and that was probably the biggest change going from a big college in a small town to a small college in a big town since Cincinnati being a big town out out hurt um, but other than that I, I liked it I really like Art Academy Cincinnati I'm not just saying that because I'm like paid or sponsored by them which I'm not I'm trying to be but it's honestly super fun and it really opened my eyes to art. So if you are into art and you think you make that career, definitely check out Art Academy Cincinnati. I know I haven't uploaded a lot lately. Um, a majority of my posts have been art school related, like projects for art school, like my last, actually my last video, the art, the kickflip video was mainly a video I made for art school. Uh, I just felt like uploading, because I felt like you guys, you guys would like it. Um, but I actually haven't been uploading a lot I haven't been out shooting photos either in a while. If you do follow my Instagram at gin.sucks, I've been home for about a month and I haven't posted anything from home. Like I haven't shot photos at home, posted them at all. It's just all been like stuff I'm coasting off from Cincinnati. And I feel like where I live is like a big, I guess where I am physically is a big indication of where I am creatively. Cause like in Cincinnati, oops. In Cincinnati, I was like in a big city. There's a lot of creatives around me, um, like doing the same thing. But now back where I'm from, there's like no, there's like no creatives here. Um, and like if I want to go out shoot photos, I have to do it on my own, which I'm perfectly okay with. I can set my own shot. But then again, I have like nobody to shoot. I have no subject. Subject would have to be me, and I'm not good at self shots. Cause then you have to meter and everything, and that's that's just doing that's that's just doing the most. And yeah, chief, this ain't it. Um, like same thing with going to shooting. Um, also weather's just been gross. It stormed so hard last night. Um, this feels like spot rain again today. Um, so a lot of the times I don't have time to go out and shoot when it's nice out, which sucks. Cause I miss you guys. I miss making videos. I miss going in and editing. Um. That's another reason I take, I'm taking a trip out to New York this summer. is because he's probably my favorite creator out there. 
and his work drive and everything is honestly astounding and inspiring. I'm just hoping like he can like, inspire me to get back on the creative grind. Anyways, I'm gonna time lapse the rest of the setup. I think I've rambled enough. I'm tired, my voice hurts. Alrighty, 25 years later, I have the full cruiser set up right here. It has the Five Burrows deck right here. It has thunder trucks. I don't know what type of thunder trucks they are. They're just thunder trucks. We have Bones Rushes in there, and we have small wheel coffee cruisers right here. That's why I chose this entire setup, because you look at it like, oh yeah, that's just a, that's just a scape, sh shaped skateboard. But then when you step on and roll these nice 54 millimeter wheels, really just take all impact and like make cracks really easy. But at the same time, you can still you can still kind of pop if you can't kick flip and I can't kick flip. I end off a lot of videos on my phone, like shirtless as I'm getting ready to export because I realized I never filmed an outro. I'm going back to project right now to look if I made an outro. I didn't make an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I missed you guys so much. I missed making videos. Um, I wasn't going to go outside and skate around a little bit, but it actually is super gross outside. It's literally just now nice out. Like, but like, it's like, super still soggy outside because it just rained a lot um but i thank you guys so much i miss you guys if you guys are new here i do a lot of videos here um a lot of art school videos i am there and just in general just a lot of fun videos a lot of artsy stuff uh some cruise around stuff and just fun stuff like that so if you guys did like this video make sure you leave a like if you really like it make sure you subscribe it's free it makes me feel better deep inside let's lock on that there we go so i hate exposure so much on the iphone thank you guys for watching blah blah blah, blah. rant's done subscribe do good, stay positive, keep vibing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, next video is gonna be a fun, artsy one. I know it for a fact because I'm literally about to go film it tomorrow.